Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Tons of new content today, including Team of the Week, new prime times that have X-Factor implications, some 16-bit cards as well, and a new free 88 overall Luke Prokop card recognizing his bravery. We'll talk about that in just a little bit, but an awesome thing for EA to do and just good for hockey in general. But let's get into all of the new content for today. All right, we'll start first covering the bigger team of the week selections. We've got the 91 Artemi Panarin. This one does have implications for his X Factor. And even just this card alone, 93 speed, 93 acceleration, 95 agility. And his wrist shot is phenomenal. His hand stops are all basically maxed out. This is an extremely good card. One of the best right-handed wingers that you can get just this 91 alone, not including his X Factor and whatnot. But there are a lot of other great ones, but still a great addition here is Artemi Panarin starting to heat up. We got the 88 Tomash Hurdle, who's a very, very good build for center with Applesauce as well as Thief. He's got 88 speed, 88 acceleration, and 89 agility, so his skating is not incredible, but defensively, he's very good. This is a... This is a very viable centerman, and I'm glad that, you know, Hurdle's having a great season. I just really hope he resigns. We've got the 89 Mark Stone, and... Man, until they fix his skating, like, it's just going to be so hard to use this card. Um, very few players are going to be able to use him effectively, and even if you are able to use him effectively, there's so many better options for you. Uh, his skating is just so low to start that it's, even at 99, it's going to be tough. We've got the 87 Blake Wheeler, six foot five. Does that buzzing gets him up to 87 speed, which obviously extremely you know, mediocre at this stage, uh, but his shot is okay. It's his size, obviously, that's going to be really important here. Um, you know, outside of that, just not as good as he was in years past in terms of hockey ultimate team, but he's getting a little bit older. Got the 83 Ryan Johansson with Thief, and at 6.3 does have a good centerman build, but there's other cards out there that I think even if you were just starting out that you could use, that would probably be a little bit more effective. We also have the 87 JT Miller. He's got workhorse and magician, six foot one, so he does have a good size and a decent shot at 87 and 89. Thief is his other synergy as well, but workhorse is definitely the one you want to put on. So his speed is what is kind of mad, but I'd, I'd much rather have Tomash Hurdle, the 88 version. So, um, you know, not, not a bad option here, but I think there are just still better ones out there. On to defense, we've got the 87 Morgan Riley with buzzing as well as protector. 90 speed. This is this is a fine card. Like, there are not very many uh, defensemen that aren't master sets or Kale McCarr, really, that have decent size, speed, and shot, and this one does have it. So if you can get buzzing activated 90 speed is fine um at six foot one again early on or even right now still there is not a lot of amazing defensemen so with tape the tape activates even better this is actually a low-key really nice one and if you wait until friday when everyone opens up their packs for the new event you could probably get them for very cheap then we've got the 88 kale mccarr with booming shot and protector and again kale mccarr cards are very valuable just because they're so fast on the back end um, he does have 83 body checking, which is kind of low, obviously, and he's smaller, so it is going to be tough to use, but 93 speed, 93 acceleration, and 97 agility is just extremely good. He's got a 90 shot, essentially, as well. Hand stats are great. He's just having a great year, and uh, one of the better right-handed defenseman cards. Samuel Gerrard is also another option, and for anyone just starting the game, especially around Christmas, watch for the Samuel Gerrard card, because 90 speed is 90 speed, and there's not a lot of great left-handed ones that have it. Um, basically, just Quinn Hughes, essentially. Essentially. So this is a nice one to start again in his own zone. He's going to be a liability, but you need players to keep up with the higher speed now. Um, so Samuel Gerard, great for players that are just starting out. And then in net, we've got the 85 Linus Allmark with fly the zone and heart and soul. While he does have great size at six foot four and 72 aggression, you know, his speed is 86. Like you could probably do worse, but again, guys, I always leave it to you to leave in the comment section to tell me if he's actually useful in terms of goaltender. So nothing crazy here, but Linus Allmark gets one here. Taking a look at some of the newer prime times we've got the 88 vladdy tarasenko with booming shot and gladiator i actually packed him uh randomly untradeable though so i'm not gonna be able to sell him this is a fine left handed winger card at 88 overall if you can get him for cheap right now because the 88s are not super expensive this could be a really nice left-handed winger that could go behind like connor mcdavid for example if you're trying to build out your left-handed wingers for anyone that's free to play or even if you're not this could be a bottom player uh, along the left hand side there because he does have a good shot good hand stats um he's Six foot, which is okay. And tape to tape is a good superstar ability. Then we've got the 86 Quinn Hughes with Bombarded, Light the Lamp, and Booming Shot. 92 speed, 92 acceleration, and 95 agility. He's honestly low-key 
better statted than Kale McCarr almost. So uh, this is a really, really good card. And again, body checking is still very low. So in his own zone, it's going to be tough. But yeah, there is not a lot of great left-handed defensemen that are around this price range that you're going to be able to grab. So Quinn Hughes, even with his, or, you know, even more than his, his 84 overall base card, this is a really, really nice card. So um, definitely, if you can't afford some of the master items, be on the lookout for this Quinn Hughes. We also got the 88 Luke Pro Cup. Again, this is a free card that you can grab in the store, recognizing, again, his bravery and openness. Uh, just an awesome story, and if you haven't checked out the Breaking Ice story, go out and check it out. The actual QR code is on the front page, so just nice to see from EA recognizing him. Taking a look at his card, his card is actually really nice as well, too. Six foot four, right-handed defenseman, his great size. He's basically the right-handed version of um, Victor Hedman. 87 speed, 87 acceleration, but he does have shutdown. Uh, 99 shot power as well. Sand stats at 76, could use a little work, but everything else is really good defensively, so... Uh, awesome to see a recognize him and uh, yeah again you can get this in this store taking a look at the x factor upgrades for our temi panarin he gets up to a 91 and again 93 speed 93 acceleration 95 agility his wrist shot is in the mid 90s i like um i like the thief synergy on or uh sorry thief synergy on him because it gets his stick checking and defensive awareness almost a max uh as well booming shot like the lamped out but his wrist shot probably where i would go obviously one of the better right handed winger cards the only problem with panarin now is is that there's just so many other great right-handed wingers. I mean, just off the top of my head, you've got Jack Eichel, Stamkos, Ovechkin, McKinnon. Uh, so it is very tough, but this is still a phenomenal card if you have him untradeable. It would, you would have to be hut rich to not want to activate him. That's the only reason I don't have him activated. Taking a look at the 89, Mark Stone. And again, even with Distributor, 86 speed. He's got Protector. I think the only way this card's going to become viable is if he gets another speed slot. Like when he gets his third Synergy, have it speed again. But 86 speed... It, it, on the wing, like, even if you... It, you'd have to be elite at center to use a face-off under 70, which is fine. If you're elite at draws, it really won't matter that much. That's the only real way to use him and be viable with him because, like, on the wing, it's just... You're never going to get separation. And while his while he's huge at 6'3", he's balanced. It's not like it's 99 or anything, so... Uh, just awfully tough to use him, which is su which sucks because he's such a good player in real life. Then we also got the Kale McCarr upgrade. Again, booming shot. He got well-rounded as his latest one. I would much rather have Magician or Thief. I'd probably have Thief. Um, but yeah, again, extremely good. One of the best right-handed defensemen that you can get. You obviously don't want to have too many of the smaller players because even with synergies, he still only has 83 body checking. Um, but if you pair him with someone bigger on the left hand side, it's very good. So if you went if you went with the defense that's like Seth Jones, Carls, John Carlson, and Kale McCarr, you're you're laughing like that's still very very good um, because his speed more than makes up for it. Seeing eye, I actually really like as well from the point. So one of the better ones in Kale McCarr finally gets an upgrade. He is having a nut season. He is pushing 30 goals. And lastly, we'll talk about some of the 16 bit hero guys. Man, this event has just not hit like the master items made no sense i talked about that literally most of them weren't alive during the 16-bit era and then all of the other cards like event cards that do make sense like the new dave anderchuk they just they start out their their icon cards start out so low so just making them a 90 makes their stats super mediocre now he does get wingman and spark and buzzing which does help out a little bit as he's six foot four but he's got 88 speed, and he's really built like a centerman that has to play wing. A lot like Mark Stone, just a little bit better, obviously. I do like the fact that these two are comboed. I've mentioned this a number of times, that when you get these synergy combos for the fourth line or something like that, even if they're not going to be great for you at the top end, at least it helps you activate them for other players. We've also got the 89 overall Mark Howe on the back end, uh, and this actually isn't bad at all. 89 speed, 89 acceleration for defensemen is... Not terrible in the landscape of defensemen. He also has 89 body checking. His defensive awareness is fine. So this one is actually sneaky okay. So if you're on the lookout for another defenseman, he might fall. I'd still rather have Larry Murphy, but if you're looking for a left-handed defenseman, this one uh, this one could do it in the Mark Howe. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's content. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for the most up-to-date NHL content. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.